good morning world oh i don't know who never it is. it is the next day but since the vlog was so short i thought that i would add in a cheeky little haul but let's see so we went to sephora lush bath and body works which is in there but let's start with bath and body works because it's the least stuff but i only got Two things, because I've been wanting to get these for a long time. Boop, boop, look at, okay. But I got this, it's so cute. It's um, a thing that you attach to your car for, and then you put this in it, which is a scent thingy. But I got the scent Peach Bellini. Okay, so next on, we're gonna do Lush. So I have two of these because my friend got one and then she forgot to get it out of my bag. But we'll put that aside. But this is just their catalog where they have the different products. And it's fun to look through. And then over here, this is what I got. So let's just grab this. I got the American Cream Hair Conditioner. And I had heard about this a long time ago and good stuff about it from Ingrid's video. But I never got it. And then I tried it on my hand because a lady was like, you want to try it on your hand? And I was like, sure. And it smelled so good. And then I got the biggest size because I was like, why not? And then um, I got, what the heck, my hair clip is in there. I got the, this is I guess newer, but I got the Jersey Bounce Shampoo because I wanted to try a new shampoo from them. And then I saw this, I was like, hmm, why not try this? But it's supposed to bounce your hair back, and it's a sea salt blend. And then it feels like Big, but then like she, the lady was like, it's like Big's bigger sister or something like that. It also has fresh eggs, which is really good. And then I think it has some sort of oil, which is really good. Hey, look, this was made by Sash. Or Sash. Hello, friend. It says coarse sea salt, honey, fine sea salt. Fresh organic free range eggs, bergamot oil, lavender oil, ooh, Persian lime oil, fresh lemon juice, olive oil, that's what she said, is in there. And it's self preserving and vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lastly, I, I actually went in for shampoo and conditioner, but I had forgotten that I also wanted to try this mask, and then thankfully I walked by it and saw it and picked it up. But I got a cup of coffee. And I'm so excited. I might try it today, actually. It smelled really nice when I smelled it in the tent. Okay, massage, five blah, 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 blah. Organic agave syrup. Coffee infusion, ground coffee. Whoop, whoop. Coriander sea oil. Whatever. I don't know if anyone really wants to see what these look like, but let me show you. Wow. Oh my god, that smells so good. So this is what the coffee one looks like. Ah, I got it on my nose. You can definitely smell the coffee. It's a face and body mask. Cool. And then we have a Jersey Bounce. Let me, oh wait, why am I showing that again? <laughs> this probably just looks like a boring champagne like usual. Oh wait, this one has the sea salt, so this feels so nice. I've had tried it on my hand and it felt so nice. Well, there's the Jersey Bounce. And then, American Queen. You can already see it. Through the damn thing. And it's closed, so I can't smell it. Okay, let's go on to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Just hold on, I'm going home. Going home. Okay. So for the American Cream Hair Conditioner, it says, Have the flowing shiny locks you've always dreamt of with the strawberry vanilla milkshake conditioner. Double strength and extra creamy to leave your hair gorgeously soft. This was made by Rhea. Who made, um, this? This was made by Kevin. Ugh. Okay, what does this have in here? Honey water... <sighs> or organic oranges, organic vanilla pot infusion. I'm obviously not reading all of this stuff. Lavender oil, fresh straws. Woo. Okay. Now let's go on to the very, very, very exciting part. Sephora. Woo. 
So I actually did the color IQ, whatever that thing is, and I finally got to see that, which was cool. But okay, let's just grab whatever's on top. This is the Laura Mercier Press Setting Powder. So usually I always do research. Oh, it's in translucent, by the way. Before I get products, but I kind of forgot that I had needed a powder. I was just having the other lady do my color IQ and stuff when we were talking. I was like, I need a powder. And then she was like, oh, this is good. So, yep. Yeah. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. And then she said to apply it with a fluffy brush so it won't leave a white cast. And that's what it looks like. Well, obviously, you probably won't use the sponge. They have it in loose form and then pressed, but I was like, I'll just stick with pressed. <gasps> oh my gosh, I already ruined it. What the heck? <laughs> but, whoop, finally have a powder. And then, next thing, I got this, which I've been wanting for a long time. But it's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. We went lighter a little bit so that it would be more highlighting. Oh, that's why the package is so freaking big. I was like, what the heck? It comes with... Why does it come with that? Usually their products never do. Anyways. So this is the concealer. Oop. And I've used the Maybelline Fit Me. So. You know. I liked that. So I probably like this. But... Yeah, I'm so excited. And then, last but not least, is something I've had before, but I just never bought it again, and then I was like, I want it now, because it's the best thing ever. And it's this, the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Boop, boop, ooh, look. This is, boop, what it looks like. Makeup Forever H Day. Oh, this didn't used to be on there. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. <gasps> oh, it's a lip. <laughs> what the hell? Why? Okay, and then I also have um, a few samples. Boop. Get out. One sample I have, because she tried some skincare stuff on me, and we were trying uh, talking about skincare. Comes with a little thingy thingy. This is the Fresh Korean Clean... Oh, no, the thing is... Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Korean. <laughs> but this is the Fresh... Oh, no. Oh, no. The Umbrian Clay Oil-Free Lotion. And it smells really good. That's why I was like, I want a sample. But it's a unique and highly effective oil-free, non-comodogenic, lightweight moisturizer for combination to oily skin, which is what I have. But here it is. I'm going to smell it, actually again without dropping it whoop oh gosh uh, i have the sample that sephora gave of the soy face cleanser and it smells similar to that but better because that one's a little bit weird but it's still nice it just smells very natural if that makes sense super natural oh now you can see my messy everything Okay, and then the other samples I got are for perfume. So I got Dior, Miss Dior, blah, 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 E-A-P, and Dior, Miss Dior, E-U-T. I can't remember what those are. But what I forgot is I actually wanted the Chloe perfume one. But I saw this first, and then I saw that later after she was already putting the samples together. So I was like, whatever. But there's one, and then let me smell these. Ooh, mmm, actually, mmm, that is pretty good. Oh, that is pretty dang good, people. So that was the Dior Mysterio EUT. This is the other one, obviously it looks the same. <laughs> oh, excuse me. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. I think I like the first one better. This one's good, too. I think I prefer the first one. This one's Dior Monsieur E... Wait, what? Oh, sorry. Dior Monsieur E AP. I was about to say E P T again. Okay. But anyways, that is all I got from the places. Now everything looks like a mess. Thank you for watching, peeps. Have a good day, night, whatever, blah, blah, blah. See you later, peeps. Mm -hmm.